Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Puppet Time with Laszlo. Today, we're going to learn how to build a puppet that looks just like me. But we can't do this alone, so I invited my good friend Leo to come and help us out today. Oh, Leo! How you doing, Laszlo? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Are you ready to build one today? Sure am. Let's go to work. All right, let's get going. For the sake of time, I put a list of materials and templates for this project down in the description below. But to give you an idea of what these materials may look like, here's a photo. Starting with your torso, you're going to use the largest piece of fabric which should be about 3 feet by 3 feet. You're going to use the template which is available in the description below that looks like a head. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut out a perfect copy of the head and make sure to attach a little bit more to the bottom just to make sure that you have enough to cover down to your elbow. Next you're going to move to the smallest piece of fabric which is in my case the green one. And this is going to make your arms. You're going to want to use the rectangle shape to uh, cut out and you're going to make it a nice little rectangle to represent the arms. Now that we've completed the arms, we're going to make four hands. The reason we're making four hands is for each side of the hand. Now that we have two hands, you're going to need four hands to make two hands. It's really weirdly complicated, but it's okay. I understand. But once we cut these hands out, then we can move on to the next step. Now we're working on the thing that makes me talk, the mouth. In the uh, description below, you have another cutouts that you can use. You have four to choose from, and make sure to trace it out on a piece of cardboard. This is because it'll make a nice, sturdy mouth just for the inside. Now that the difficult part's over, we're going to start to sew the body. We're going to start with the big fella. We're going to start with the body. First, you're going to want to thread your needle, of course, just to make it nice and easy for you to start sewing. Then, you're just going to push the needle through the felt into the other one and loop it around. Once you do this, you repeat this process until you get to the mouth. Do not sew the mouth shut unless you want a non-talking puppet. But who wants a non-talking puppet? That's all the fun! Now look at that. We've sewn it perfectly and now it's a beautiful, beautiful looking puppet. It's not complete yet, but it's a nice start to a good thing. Now we're going to put in the mouth. The mouth is important because it helps the puppet talk. So we're going to get out the glue and we're going to put the cardboard inside the mouth that we just made. And once you do that, you're going to put the glue between the cardboard and the felt. Doing this keeps the mouth nicely in place. But make sure that you don't use the glue too early. You want to let the glue settle. You want to let the mouth settle. You want to let the glue settle. Just let it be. So in that time, we're going to create the arms. So let's get back to our pencils and let's get to our felt that we would use with the arms and we're going to sew up the sides. This is going to be a painstakingly difficult process because it's quite long and vigorous. Once it's made, you just flip the tube inside out and yeah, it's going to be a nice little, uh, nice little pencil holder for you. I don't know about you, but uh, if this puppet doesn't come out okay, we're going to have some nice little pencil holders. Now we're going to shape the hands and make them what they do. Make those mama talk. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some little bit more of that glue that we use for the mouth. I'm going to put it on the inside of the hand, okay? And once we do that, we're going to take another hand and lay it right on top. Doing this makes it nice thick layers so that you can hide the coat hanger that we're going to use to control the puppet on the inside. Here's the coat hanger. Now for the coat hanger, we're just going to bend it open. Come off the ends, you know. And, uh, yeah, just start bending. Maybe you need the uh, pliers to uh, bend it into place, made it nice and straight. Make it look nice and good. So we're going to use markers for the handles, and we're going to put some tape around it just to hold it nice and firm in place. Doing this makes it very easy for the puppeteer to hold the person. Now we're going to bring it all together. So, now we have our arms attached to the body, and we have the mouth in place. Now we're going to put a little bit of toilet paper inside the hands, just to give it a little bit more depth. 
stirring this makes it nice and thick. Nice little padding for the puppet and nice little padding for the stilts. Now, by sewing the arm on and giving the little rods, it makes it nice and easy to hold. And putting toilet paper in the head makes it give it a nice plump head. Now we're going to put on the final touches, everyone. Yay! We're going to take two ping pong balls, draw two little holes on it, and we're going to glue ping pong balls to the head. Now, uh oh, 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 geez. Oh, okay, hold on. Make it nice and nice. Very good. Uh, oh, it goes nice. Oh. Okay, it looks like we're good. Yay! There's my new brother! Yay! He's all done! Look how good he is! Thank you, Leo! You had a great... Wow! Wasn't that a great day today, guys? I had so much fun building that puppet with Leo. He's such a great friend. Let's meet our creation now. Luca! Hi, Luca! Hi. Aren't you excited to be alive? Eh, it seems kind of interesting. I mean, I've never moved like this before. I was in like a whole bunch of pieces earlier. Yeah, life's pretty interesting that way. Aren't you excited about your newfound adventures? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Alright then. Well, thank you for joining us today on Puppet Show. I hope to see you next time. Follow us. Like, comment, and subscribe, and get the newest content from our channel. Bye. Hope you had a good time watching. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day.